Welcome to cooking cheap, easy, and tasty meals. I'm gonna make an individual portion pineapple upside down cake. One of my grandchildren sees him and says he wants one. I wonder if he's really gonna eat it, but I'm gonna make one to see if he will. Okay, we're gonna start out with one egg. We're gonna whisk it. We're gonna add a quarter cup of buttermilk. A little bit of vanilla, probably about half a teaspoon of vanilla. That may have been a teaspoon, but close enough. And we're gonna add, I'm gonna five or six tablespoons of granulated sugar. I'm just using a regular teaspoon, tablespoon. I'm not being that fan to that specific. Three, four, that's probably not five. Five tablespoons of granulated sugar. We'll mix that up a little bit, get that in here pretty good. Now we're gonna add three tablespoons of melted butter. Stir that up real well. Now we're gonna add half a cup of all-purpose flour, a half teaspoon of baking powder, and large pinch of baking soda, about that much. Then we're gonna mix all those things together. left is probably the salt. So we'll add that in just a second. I just didn't want to mess up more than one bowl. Let's also add a pinch of kosher salt just to bring out the sweetness. It smells and looks like a regular cake mixture. Which is probably pretty close to just a standard cake mixture. It's just a small amount. I've got three ramekins which I'm going to spray with some spray oil. You could butter them if you wanted. I don't think it'd make that much difference. Flavor-wise, I've already got butter in this mix, so I don't think that'll make a difference. But if you're more comfortable with that, go ahead. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put brown sugar in the bottom of each one of these. That's one teaspoon in each one of these at the bottom. Then we'll shake it all up, try and get it spread out a good bit. Break up the pieces that are large. Right. That should be fine. Now, I'm going to take some sliced pineapple and put one piece at the bottom of each of these. And it wouldn't be complete without a cherry. I think this is the cherry that really gets his attention. So I'll put one cherry at the bottom of each one of these. and one for the cook. Forgot how good those are. Now we're going to use the spatula to make sure this is all mixed well, which it is. And I'm gonna put a little batter at the bottom of each one of these.
cherry came out the bottom, out the middle. Push it back in. Try and spread the batter out a little bit. Perfection, it's not gonna be. Spread it out. And spread that out a little bit. All right. I don't want waste of any if I don't have to. I'll get a little bit out and put it right in there. Okay, now I'm gonna put these in a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes. And we'll see what we get. And we're gonna use the same rule as always. It's gonna be done when a toothpick goes in or a knife goes in and comes out clean. Okay, here are our three ramekins. Just took them out of the oven, they've got to cool, and then I'm gonna turn them upside down and see how they did. But as far as the cake goes, cake is cooked and it looks fine. I think it'll be really good. And we're gonna try and take one of these out of here and see what it looks like. They've cooled off. So I'm gonna go around the edge. Oh, it feels like it's pretty loose. We're gonna find out in just a second. Okay. Yep, there it is. Okay. Not bad, looks pretty much like a piece of cake with a piece of pineapple and a cherry on it. So that ought to be a decent attempt and we'll see if my grandson will eat that. This turned out to be a pretty good cake. I liked it, it tasted like a pineapple upside down cake. Now, unfortunately, my grandson only ate the pineapple, the cherry, and a little bit of the cake on top, and then he didn't really want any more. But it was worth the effort, and it was a good attempt. And it was a pretty good single-serving dessert for other purposes. If you try it, you might want to add whipped cream or ice cream with it. It's a nice, sweet cake, and it tastes really good. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and give us a like. Thank you.